Welcome back. It's National Kidney Month, and it's crucial to remember that the choices that you make in the kitchen play a profound role in empowering people to find solutions that can be benefit their overall health, especially kidney health. We have Dr. Blake Schuster here, also known as the Cooking Doc, to share some ideas with you with you about kidneys and uh, something that probably a lot of people don't know a whole lot about. Good to see you, Doctor. Yeah, thanks so much for having me. Yeah. So how did you how did you get into this uh, wanting to do like online doing recipes? Uh, what made you want to Kind of start sharing this information well you know when you come into kidney disease you realize that some of the biggest risk factors for kidney disease are diabetes high blood pressure things that are really impacted by yeah. what you eat mm -hmm. and so when i was seeing people in the office you know you may have been to the doctor and they say okay well when you come back make sure you're eating healthy lost some weight eat a lower uh, sodium right. diet yeah. bye we'll see you later so i figured that when I give them that information and they leave with that, I wanted to provide them for, with, uh, you know, dedicated resources once they're outside of my office for yeah. making yeah. healthy, no, good recipes at home. General advice, but give them specifics and yeah. you become the expert and the cooking doctor. But also, <laughs> being a kidney stone guy, uh, drinking, what you drink has a lot to do with kidney health, doesn't it? Absolutely. So, you know, there's... Um, one of the things I tell people is you need to drink the right things and you need to drink enough of them. So okay. most important thing is when you get thirsty, you should be choosing water, water. Oh, I knew right? I say that. <laughs> water. So, you know, it's not that you need to drink 80 to 100 ounces of water a day unless you have kidney stones. It is important yeah. to drink a lot of water to prevent those stones. Mm -hmm. But most people, when they're thirsty, instead of drinking water, they choose, you know, sweet Coke. tea, <laughs> Coke, or oh, uh, a sweetened Starbucks drink. But isn't mm -hmm. sweet tea not good for your kidneys? Right, yes. Probably not so southern sweet tea. Right? Especially not southern <laughs> sweet tea. So, yeah, yeah. you know, shifting away from some of those... Uh, Real sweet beverages kind of really helps, uh, you know, it can help you manage obesity and diabetes and high blood pressure yeah. and, and lower the risk of kidney disease, which, uh, you know, impacts 37 million Americans, but we really don't talk about wow. it very much. What, is, what are some of the signs of kidney disease? Are you having uh, some malfunctioning in the kidney? Yeah. So one of the, they talk about high blood pressure as kind of a silent killer, mm -hmm. yeah. but we don't talk about kidney disease as kind of the same way. So you can lose almost 90% of your kidney function sometimes without any signs or symptoms. So with National Kidney Month, you know, really important to spread the word that mm -hmm. uh, you need to get checked for kidney disease, especially if you have diabetes or high blood pressure or a family member that has kidney disease. Yeah. So uh, you may not have any signs mm -hmm. until it's way along so the progression. So knowing your family history is important. So oh, yeah. important. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you practice right here in Greenville? Yeah, so I work for a group called Carolina Nephrology. Sure. So we have offices in Greenville and then in uh, surrounding areas from Spartanburg to uh, Pendleton. Do you, uh, there is an actual book ink on white paper plus <laughs> it's online i'm assuming where can we get this so if you go to my website cookingdoc.com mm -hmm. uh, you can get the e-copy of my book also on amazon you can get the real book if you if you want to kind of look okay. at the recipes in person and uh -huh. there's 10 steps in there about really how to you know change your diet in a way to help protect your kidneys and you're on youtube i'm on youtube yes i try to put out a, a recipe or kind of an informational video about kidney health once a week really to reach people and uh, kind of empower them. You know, sometimes when you have a medical condition, uh, it can feel overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Can you think of one no-no not to eat? <laughs> you know, the kidneys? There is, one no-no. There is not one no-no. Okay. Right? So <laughs> okay. I, a little bit of almost no everything knows. is okay. <laughs> is there, is there a yes, yes? Is there one thing that is a yes, yes that this is... Water, shown. water, <laughs> water. Yeah. Okay, water could be at the top, but also, you know, the things that uh, your mom or your grandma always told you: fruits and vegetables are really good yeah. for your kidneys. It's so a lot we'll of water dense on that. foods. Yes, yeah. water dense foods and, and nutrients, and maybe lower on things like red meat, animal protein. Aren't you mm -hmm. glad the great physician, the good Lord, gave us two of them? <laughs> yes. Think about it. Yes, almost everybody's born with two <laughs> kidneys, and I'm glad we got those extra oh, please. things. Right. And yeah. you're seeing a lot of people, of course, doing like kidney donations and things, which speaks to the, the need of the number that you mentioned of how many people are, have kidney disease. So yeah. Absolutely. There are uh, close to 90,000 people in the United States on the kidney transplant waiting That's list. Right. Yeah, and you can wait anywhere from two to five years for a kidney. Mm -hmm. And during that time, you may be on dialysis and really struggling. So, uh, you know, Greenville has a new kidney transplant program for the last year and a half, and, and that has really been transformative mm -hmm. for my patients yeah. here in the upstate. And, and let us not forget, mention uh, organ donation. Yes. Always a good idea. It's amazing. Yes. 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 It Thanks. saves my Thanks, patients' Scott. lives.
Thanks, Cooking Doc. You can follow him online at The Cooking Doc yep. and go to the website as well and get the book. Thank you so much for all that you do. We appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Yeah.